Warriors rise. Hey, what's up, Warriors? June 7, 2022 is a big day. I know we've said that many times, but I'm going to show you facts, figures, numbers, logic. First of all, I just want to check on you. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Are you holding the line? Are you not tripping, buying the dipping, and diamond handing it? Well, my name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto, and I'm adding this in, business coach in the world. I want to give you a little brief commercial real quick, if you don't mind, about the Warrior Academy, www.3twarrior.com. Click the link down below. I highly recommend you dive in. We've helped 4,500 warriors worldwide free their dome. We have, what, 1,500 active warriors right now in the academy. But here's why I'm bringing this up to you guys. We are adding 10 times more value. This, so is this, by next week, by next week, we are going to be adding and revamping our academy to include business. I'm going to be doing business coaching in there. We're going to be talking about how we scaled our seven-figure company, the uh, 30,000 foot overview. We're going to have tribes of crypto, our 120-day challenge, mindset, business. It is going to be completely revamped with 10 times more value. We take feedback from our customer very, very seriously, and we've revamped the whole academy to make it a better experience for you. So if you're in the academy today at 730, I'm going live and I'm ripping the Band-Aid off, Warriors. We are going in every single Tuesday, 730 with Coach JV. It is no holds bar. And there's things, you know, I can go off on there because it's our own private network. All right, let's dive right into it, Warriors. Any the stuff you need is down below. Uh, let's get after it. Okay, so. June 7th, big day, big, 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 big day. We've been saying that for a long time, but we are getting dangerously close. And the reason why I wanted to check on you guys is because I feel people are losing patience, not in our Warrior Academy. Few people in the Warrior Academy are starting to get a little impatient. But remember, I'm going to give you some hard coaching right here. You're patient enough to be in a bad relationship for 30 years. You're patient enough to be in a job that you hate for years. You're patient enough to be have bad health for years. But you're not patient enough to hold on to a fundamental cryptocurrency to change your family's life. Think about that for just a moment, Warriors. We need to develop patience in the right areas. This is not get rich quick. If you're in it to get rich quick, go to the gas station, buy lottery tickets. Go to the casino, okay? I don't play games with my money, Warriors. I don't play games with my money. I have 10% of my portfolio that's weighted towards shit coins and, and you know some NFT projects that I think you know might get uh, pump and dump or whatever it is. Those are 10%. That's the only that that's throwaway money. I don't play games with my investment money, Warriors. So very, very important that you're around the right tribe and the right vibe. You're seeing a lot of influencers start to turn against each other, clout chasing, because they don't have the right fundamental information. They've been sharing pump and dumps for so long that they have to attack each other to get views now, Warriors. And I'm not here to bash any other influencer. What I'm saying is we've always been fundamental. We will never change that. Our team is about long-term generational wealth building. We share ideas, structure, how we do it again with the revamp in the academy I'm, I'm rebuilding my whole section you got access to my portfolio access to my business strategy how how i believe you should scale businesses um i what i could not how you should scale businesses what worked for me in business but i you know i'll get off my soapbox but i just want to check on you guys I just want to let you know i love you you know if, you, if you're not looking for a tribe who really loves you and, and appreciates you then this is not the tribe okay so senator cynthia loomis now let me make this a little bit bigger if I can. I don't know if that'll go bigger for you guys. There we go. Okay. So Senator Cynthia Loomis, uh, she says, I'm working diligently. This was on May 27, 2022, uh, with uh, Senator Gilbrand to finalize a bill of our comprehensive digital asset legislation. Any language circulating online is incredibly outdated version of March 1st. Stay tuned for our release of the actual bill on June 7th. Okay. Now, this is another post that was put out on this one came out on June 3rd. We've been te teasing it for months, but the time is almost here. A proposal to fully integrate digital assets into our financial system. Excited to finally unveil the effort next week. Stay tuned. So today is when they unveil, and I'm sure a bunch of us will be covering this. They're going to unveil the fully integration of digital assets. Whereas I've been telling you for a long time, 2025, our whole banking system is going to be tokenized. 100% distributed ledger technology tokenized. It's those that are going to survive regulation because here's what's coming. SEC, Binance, BNB, they are now going after 
Binance. The U.S. Securities Exchange Commission has reportedly launched an investigation into BNB, Bloomberg, Bloomberg reports. The regulatory watchdog wants to determine whether or not the most popular exchange token is an unregistered security. Binance held its initial coin offering, its ICO, back in July 2017. The exchange raised a total of $15 million. The probe is yet to reach any conclusion, according to the report. The regulator may not end up taking legal action against the exchange. Why not? You went after the Ripple SEC. You didn't go after Ethereum. You didn't go after Bitcoin. So what is this all about? They're playing games with you, Warriors. I've been telling you, the Ripple SEC case is a game that they're playing to bring in a new Howie test. We need to pull the wool off our eyes, Warriors. It's all a big game behind the scenes. The puppets are pulling the strings, and they're basically using Ripple XRP. Why didn't Ripple... Why did Ripple renew their uh, uh, lease in San Francisco? If Ripple felt like they're being attacked by the SEC, why didn't they leave San Francisco? If they're operating outside, and they are in all these different countries that support them as a currency, then why wouldn't they just bounce out to the, an Asian country? Why wouldn't they bounce to one of these countries? Bounce. Why wouldn't they move? That's not a ghetto. Why don't they bounce? Bounce. <laughs> bounce. Bounce. Why don't, why don't they move to a different country? Don't forget to laugh at yourself. Move to a different country where they're being supported because they know that it's going to – they used it to regulate the industry. That's what they're using for. So those of you who are maximalist and, and certain – I'm not a maximalist in anything. I'm just saying, dude, if you're not paying attention to the Ripple XRP case, it is going to – regulate every other cryptocurrency based on what happens so this is starting to come out this is the big narrative okay you got senator loomis talking about the new um the new bill or is this a bill right yep so to fully integrate digital assets this is wild we're here we're getting there we just gotta hang on the sec announced new crypto regulation initiatives this week this is back on april 5th here's what investors should know they're just coming after cryptocurrency it, it, to regulate it, Warriors. Here's what it is. It's a brand new asset class. They know it's they, they went from it's dog shit to it's not going anywhere. Very, very quickly. Very quickly. All of a sudden, it was the worst thing ever to it's, a, it's a, actually a legit asset class now. So first they resist it. Then they sue it. Then they regulate it. Then they join it. Or maybe they created it. Who knows? And maybe they created it because they knew they're going to print money into oblivion since 2008. And they were going to keep interest rates super low. And as soon as they got the public all set up and, and, and on UBI or, or, or stimulus checks, and they crushed the middle class through the C word, right? And then all of a sudden, like, all right, let's start a Ukraine-Russia narrative, which will be the SWIFT system. Let's get a supply chain management problem going. Whoever creates a problem, creates a reaction, comes up with the solution. And the solution is going to be distributed ledger technology. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to get things moving at the speed of light. Through blockchain, we're going to get you your checks through UBI, through a digital distributed ledger technology. We're going to give access to every single person money across the world. We're going to move money at the speed of light and be able to track everything through the system, right? What's they're doing now, right? It's just a different monetary system. We're going to go into zero carbon by 2030. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise gas prices so high that you can't afford to buy gas. And so we're going to push you into electric cars, right? That's going to be the narrative. Large companies are not going to be able to get funding unless they follow their carbon credits. Do you want, do, should I go down the whole path, Warriors? It's literally being played out in front of you, but we're watching the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. So let's jump into that. Here's the global inflation outlook. Look at this. Look at this. Some countries are upwards of 500% inflation. We're sitting at, what are, what are we at, like 8% right now? I mean, it's wild what's happening, Warriors. I believe your gas is going to be, you know, we're just talking about this in the steam room this morning. That's a group of you know businessmen sitting in there talking and we think it's going to go to 10 bucks man i wouldn't be shocked if gas goes to 10 bucks think about that for just a moment so they're going to start saying hey you need to come back to work guys and then you can't afford your gas and then they're going to just do forced layoffs you're going to start leaving your job because it's going to be cheaper just to get your your check every single month think about that whereas this is all by design well let's let's take a look at what they're saying out here this was uh yesterday's news okay check this out Despite the U.S. adding more jobs than expected last month, inflation, interest rates, and the war in Ukraine have many on Wall Street worried about the possibility of a recession. This comes as investors and policymakers await U.S. inflation numbers this week. So for more on this, I want to bring in Paul Nolte. He is the senior vice president at Kingsview Wealth Management. Paul, thanks for joining us. Um, so listen, I, you know, I know that there is hope that perhaps inflation has peaked, but is there any good 
good way to make that prediction, any way to gauge where inflation is going? It seems like as long as gas prices keep going up, then the price of everything else will as well. No, that's true. That's one of the key inputs for uh, all production. So food, moving uh, goods around the United States, it is very dependent on energy. So if you want to keep an eye on it, certainly keep an eye on crude prices, diesel prices as well for the truckers. And take a look at commodity prices in general. They are now again breaking out to new all-time highs. When you talk about Wall Street and Main Street, there's going to be two numbers that are going to be important on Friday. For Wall Street, it's going to be core inflation. And core inflation takes a look at everything but food and energy. And Main Street's going to be looking at the headline number. And that headline number is still going to be north of 8% and is likely to persist well into the summertime. Okay, so I just want you guys to hear that. So we have June 7th, which is today. We're going to talk about regulating digital currencies, right? And then we have a Friday meeting, which we're going to uh, talk about the inflation numbers, right? So you're just going to keep getting rocked and rocked and rocked and rocked with inflation. That's what's going to happen. It's going to become so expensive to just survive. Eggs are going up. Milk is going up. Your gas is going up. But the thing is, Warriors, your pay is not going up. Your job is being leveraged towards technology. That's why I'm pushing so hard on showing people how I scaled a seven-figure company off of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, using free resources, social media, and doing the opposite of everybody else. Instead of per consuming, I projected my story. Think about that. I'm scaling another, another seven-figure company by projecting, not consuming. So we can use these tools to break free from the just over broke warriors. Don't sit back. Don't sit back and wait, warriors. Don't sit back and wait. Take action. What are your skill sets? What are your skill sets? Remember, an entrepreneur is a skill set that can crunch the timeline to success for other people. That's it. Okay? That's it. Maybe you're somebody who started... Uh, let's see, you, you, you know, uh, one of our business partners, my business partner, who we helped, you know, our, our scale, the, 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 our business coaching program, he helped somebody who's a crocheter, who started an online program, who crocheted and taught people to how to crochet and time to shorten the timeline to success and built a company out of that. Whereas what do you think all companies are? They're solving problems. This, this person solved a problem for a sweatband. This person solved a problem for us communicating. Like, think about that. We are all problem solvers. We are all consumers of products and services that somebody um, created. But anyways, so I just wanted to show you this real quick. So the Board of Governors on the Federal Reserve System voted unanimously to raise the interest rates paid on reserve balances to 0.9% effective May 5th. You're just going to keep seeing... Um, uh, is that it? I didn't even read the right thing here. I'm all over the place today. Yeah, interest rates paid. So interest rates are going to keep going up. Inflation is going to keep going up. And I'm going to keep bringing this message to you guys, Warriors. Am I always right? I don't know. I don't know. But what I have done is I've changed my life and my family's life dramatically in the last four years. Dramatically. Because I was indoctrinated into the old system. I was in the banking system. And I didn't even understand how money worked properly. I understood that you get a credit card. You get an auto loan. You get your 30-year mortgage. You know, you take your money. You get your, you know, your what how many days of vacation you get you get your six weeks of vacation and you know you, you fight to get to your vacation and you fight with your spouse or partner you're on vacation you're so stressed about your job you know i heard something from alex Ramos. It was interesting you know work-life balance what is work-life balance it's the biggest scam in the world think about that if you hate your job you need work-life balance and most people need work-life balance because they hate what they do if you're creative and you're doing what you love you don't need work-life balance i work seven days a week because I don't need work-life balance. I love what I do. I'm in a fluid, creative state. And I'm not being condescending. I'm trying to activate you guys to understand that, Warriors, the system is changing. And if you can change and understand how the system is working, you won't get played, right? And you could move into this new ecosystem, whether it's investing, starting a company. But we provide, I mean, we're providing so much value in the academy. Uh, when we do the revamp coming up, there's so much right now, 100 cryptocurrency courses, community, seven calls a week. Uh, you can you can do one-on-ones with our team. Oh, God, what else? You have my access to my portfolio, exit strategy. My section is going to be 10 times better. We're also adding business. Where me and my CFO are going to be talking about 30,000 foot overview and saying, hey, listen, guys, this is how we, how to do an LSE. This is, this is how we set up our business. This is the mistakes we made. 
This is how we went from almost losing things in the physical quantum physical world. And we went online and we built a seven figure company and we're going to scale another one right now. We have two five figure companies, right? So it, it, we want to demystify all this stuff. We want to help as many people as possible. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. I do apologize. I feel kind of all over the place. Um, yeah. I don't know why, but I just, just love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>